with the Facebook clone, I ended up co constantly contrasting Uber and other apps with the appearance of the Facebook app. Uber chose to use Material Design in the iOS version, and the app looks great on iOS and Android. The flip side is that Uber is orientation locked and doesn't support tablets properly. In that sense, I don't want to make an accurate Facebook clone. I want to make something better. So the goal isn't an exact clone, but I will draw heavily, heavy inspiration. I will copy the following principles from Facebook. Native UI look. I will use native OS widget look where applicable. Screen flow. I will keep a similar screen flow to Facebook. Tablet and orientation. I will support orientation changes in the app and tablet mode. Plain text password. I use this behavior as Facebook does even though I don't like it. With that in mind, I'll focus on the following big ticket items. I won't go over each one right now, but I'll try to implement all of those in the clone. Before we proceed, let's go over the things I won't touch. The Facebook app is huge. It contains a lot of nuanced hidden functionality. Most of that is simple, but the breadth of data makes it a huge undertaking. I've tried to address the complex features of Facebook, but I'll skip some big ticket items that I won't be able to cover. Events are complex. They would require a lot of time but won't necessarily teach a new coding skill. Camera special effects, this is probably possible, but will also probably take me an entire week to implement. This is probably outside of the scope of what we are trying to do. Additional apps. The Facebook app connects to Instagram, Messenger, etc. This shouldn't be hard, but I want to focus on the app itself. Find friends and complex searches. This is mostly server-side logic. I'll implement search, but I won't go too deep into this as there's a lot of server-side code. Hashtags and complex posts. I won't go into all of the nuances of post formatting supported by Facebook. I'll include some common templates and leave the rest for you to fill slash enhance. I won't cover a lot of things such as albums, etc. Privacy and visibility. While we will implement search in some aspects of a social network, we won't do a lot of the important things. There are a lot of nuances to private, friend, uh, friend-only, public postings that I won't cover. These aren't hard to implement, but they mostly involve server-side juggling. I prefer focusing on the client side. Pretty much all the details, business pages, ads, promotions, proper ranking, complex media detection, etc. Facebook is huge. We will implement only a small subset. Supporting orientation, tablets, etc. requires a flexible architecture. Furthermore, Facebook is filled with data to a ridiculous extent. There's so much information about every attribute. We can support that volume of data with properties. Properties allow us to store data, transmit data, and automatically create UIs from data. This is tremendous for a tool such as Facebook, a Facebook clone. We can eliminate a lot of the grind of UI database passing overhead by leveraging properties. Because of the flexible nature of the application, I will use an approach of a central controller class for the user interface to keep things simple. Now that we have a sense of what we are trying to do, we can start with mocking up the initial UI. We first need to start by creating the Facebook clone project. I created a standard codename one project with the following settings. Project name, Facebook clone, package name, com.codename1.fbclone, template barebones, and theme, native. I will use CSS for this project. The CSS plugin is getting a complete rework right now and would be integrated into Codename 1 soon. Check out the CSS project on GitHub for installation and activation instruction as, instructions as these will probably change by the time you see this. 
we will need the Facebook logo for the markup and for that we will use an icon font. Icon fonts are fonts that map a character glyph to an icon. That means that icon will have one color but we can color it in any way we want and size it, draw it easily in every platform. That's very convenient and there are several providers of such fonts. You can also convert SVGs to fonts, but the Facebook logo is specifically widely available. We'll make use of Fontello, which you can find at fontello.com to generate a font that contains the three Facebook logos from Font Awesome and the gender icons. Fontello is a tool that can package specific icons from multiple fonts into a single file for your convenience. Because of that, we'll also use this opportunity to bundle into icons, icon characters for male and female gender. We'll use these during the signup. These are icons from the MFG Labs font. We need the gender icons as the material design for icons don't have proper gender representation. Step one, type Facebook into the search. Select the three font awesome entries. Step two, type mail into the search and select icons to match genders. Step three, type Facebook into the name field and download. Step four, copy the TTF file into the CSS res directory of the Facebook clone project. You will need to create the res directory under the CSS directory. Step five, open demo.html in your browser. Step six, check the show codes box. Step seven, this is the code for each icon we'll use. Now that we have all of the pieces in place, we can create the initial CSS file. There are a few important things here, so let's review it one line at a time. This is a special CSS selector for theme constants. You should have this in any theme by default to derive the native theme. Even if you don't think you are using native theme features, you probably are. This hides the scroll bars by default. Sets the default gap between a label and its icon. It applies to buttons and all label subclasses. These should already be transparent. This is here just to verify. The default font for the styles might be ignored if a specific built-in style already defines a font of its own. We define the TTF of the Facebook icon font we downloaded before. Using this, we can draw a large Facebook logo with the font. While I'm here, I'll define the main form to be white. The app is a bit inconsistent with this, but white seems to be the main background color. 